Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Tanat here. Today I've got a new video for you. This happens to be a how-to video. Uh, recently during a build and a build log that I'm doing, I ran into some problems and I thought I couldn't be the only person having problems doing this. So once I troubleshot it and figured out the proper sequence and the proper tools to use, um, I thought, well, well I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick video to explain you know, how to do it right and then point out the things that don't work. So uh, especially if you're in the, in the process of doing the same thing I was doing, you could uh, use this video and uh, make your life a little bit easier. So this video is how to load Windows 7 operating system on an Intel 750 series SSD. So that's what we have here. I have a Z170 um, motherboard, a Maximus uh, uh, Rampage Formula motherboard, and I want to load the operating system on that drive so it boots fast and load my operating system and applications and everything else on it that I need to for this particular build. But in doing so, and doing it the way I load Windows 7 on other drives, I ran into some problems. And so for that, I'm going to explain to you what works. And I'll point out the things that don't. So let's go ahead and have a look. All right, guys, for this video, this is the drive that I'm going to install the uh, operating system on. We have an Intel solid state drive, 750 series. This is the NVMe PCIe 3.0 by 4 add-in card. And I'm going to install it on a Maximus 8 formula motherboard. I have a i7-6700K processor and I have 16 gigabytes of uh, RAM. So the, uh, my normal process is to load Windows 7 when I build systems off of a USB drive. So this one here is Windows 7 Pro. And so here you see we have the uh, motherboard installed. It's got an H100i cooler on the CPU. That's some G-Skill Trident Z RAM, beautiful looking RAM. Uh, that is a uh, GTX 980 Ti Strix version. And um, there is a 1.2 terabyte Intel 750 series. That's the SSD on the U2 port, which I originally ran into this problem on. So that's when I figured out let's try it again and uh, but I'll show you uh, it's going to be the exact same process whether it's the U2 drive or that so that is the test bed setup and uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, show you the problem that we encounter when you try to load the operating system on uh, on it using it uh, from a USB drive at least on this motherboard and probably I'm assuming that this would occur on most Z170 motherboards but all I can say for sure is this is what, what occurs when I try it on a Maximus 8 formula and uh, so let me uh, remove the drive from the packaging install it into the uh, motherboard and then we'll fire up the system and we'll take it from there okay here we have the Intel 750 series PCIe SSD installed into a slot on the Asus Maximus 8 formula motherboard. And what I have here now is my Windows 7 Pro and I'm going to stick it into a USB port. Alright, I have it installed into a USB port. Now all the ports on this motherboard are USB 3.0 those of you who have built systems before, um, now most motherboards, they have a couple of ports, especially if they're USB 2.0, that natively are recognized. And usually the rest are not until you load the chipset or the USB drivers. Now this motherboard will recognize drives in all of the USB ports. So you'll see that when I bring up the BIOS before we boot this. But um, that's something that I've already known, I've experienced before. So. Uh, but again, this motherboard has all USB 3.0 ports, so that's the only option I have for loading off of a USB port. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the system. And one of the first things that you need to do, of course, is to make sure your motherboard supports the NVMe drive. So number one, you've got to make sure you have your BIOS updated. Uh, if that motherboard supports it, you want the latest, latest BIOS that includes that. If it's a change, I believe all... I think the X79, X99, and the Z170s do 
Um, but again, check with your motherboard manufacturer and make sure that they do. So now we're going to come into the BIOS here. And uh, some motherboard manufacturers require that you, um, you know, that you enable the drive, but others should see it natively. So we're going to the boot menu and we have here, you see the Patriot memory right there. That's the uh, USB um, flash, flash drive or thumb, thumb drive that I have installed. And here we see the Intel SSD. So it's already recognized and we want it to boot. Uh, we want it to be the boot item, but not yet. We want to boot off of the uh, Patriot memory. So let's go ahead and uh, exit, save. And what should happen is we should have the Windows installation image come off the Patriot memory stick and load up. So let's see what we get here. Here we have Windows loading the files. Starting Windows. All right, what you expect, the installation window. And we go right to installing Windows 7 now. Now, one of the things to note, if you're really familiar with this, there's usually a, a screen that comes up in front of this that uh, makes sure you accept all of the uh, conditions that Windows has. But it just pops right into this, and I'm going to look around. There's no window behind it, but I'm going with it. This is trying to install. So I set up a starting. And it comes right up and it says uh, uh, a CD, DVD drive, device driver is missing. All right, so I, I need to provide that. So I have gone to the Intel website and I have loaded the driver onto a separate thumb drive. And I actually also loaded it onto the thumb drive that the Windows is the installation drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit Browse to find them. Now what you find here is the only thing that's recognized is uh, my D CD player, DVD player. There's no drive in that. And then what you find here is these, this, these uh, program files, these are all part of the image, the Windows image. So currently right now, the system cannot go to the disk that has the Intel drivers on it. All right, and I can even, you know, remove that browse again all I get and I have uh, two USB sticks in there the only one that's recognized in any way is the one that uh, has the uh, Windows installation media on it okay now I have Windows 10 USB stick with uh, U the Windows 10 operating system to load directly now this uh, re would require me to purchase and enter a license but just to see if the Windows 10 installer makes any difference. Everything else is exactly the same. Okay, so we have the Windows 10 comes up. Install now. Alright, it looks like uh, it's ready. I'm gonna I don't have the product key. And I want to install Windows 10 Pro. All right, this is going to work. So this is uh, going to come up to the point where it identifies the whole drive. So Windows 10 installation disk works just fine. Windows 7 has a problem. And that ISO is just fine, but I'll show you how to get around it. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. So what I found is you have to load it from a DVD. And it cannot just be a DVD connected to a USB port. If you're trying to load Windows from your USB port on at least the Maximus 8 formula, um, that's where you're going to run into your problems. So if you load off of the DVD with the DVD drive plugged into the Intel native SATA ports on the motherboard, which is this is connected to, and then the other thing you need to have is you will still be prompted for the driver 
If I have the driver loaded, copied onto another uh, another SSD uh, that's plugged into the uh, again the one of the Intel um, native chipset ports. So both of these are connected directly to the motherboard through the nor normal state of ports. Then we'll be able to load Windows and load the driver. If you try it any other way, again this is Windows 7, it will not work. So let's bring this back around and take a look. All right, so now we're going into the BIOS. Make sure that it boots from the DVD. Okay, so we have it now set to boot off of the DVD. Windows is loading up off of the off of the CD. So here we have Windows 7 booted from the DVD player and we're going to install now. And the reason why it's taking a little while is because the uh, DVD player takes a while to spin up. Here we have Windows, the license terms. This is what did not come up when we uh, booted off of the USB drive, uh, thumb drive. So we're going to do custom. And this now only recognizes the, uh, the Intel 180 gigabyte disk. What we're going to do now is load the driver for the 1.2. So here you recognize the same window. Now I, I selected it because we need to find that drive. Now that local drive here, this is the um, SSD. And what we're going to do is go to Intel. Uh, actually the Intel 64-bit driver. Here it is. It has ad identified the driver for the P3700, the P3600, P3500, and 750. So we're going to say yes, we want to use that. Next. So again, the key here is that installing Windows 7 from a USB drive or even Windows 7 off the DVD through a USB DVD drive will not work. You have to boot from a disk off of the SATA port off the motherboard. And here we have now identified the 1.2 gigabyte SSD. And so now we're going to go ahead and hit next. And there we have Windows installing. So uh, that's it. That's what it takes to install Windows 7 on a Intel Series 750 SSD, whether it be the PCIe version or the, uh, uh, the uh, U.2 version. But again, key thing is Windows 7 install, you have to have the motherboard recognize it, whether enabling it or the BIOS natively recognizing it. Number two, have it boot from a DVD drive off of a SATA port from the Intel chipset on the motherboard and have an additional drive that is connected to the SATA port on the motherboard that has the Intel driver. You have all those three then you're able to install Windows. That's it from Ron's and Nut. If you like this video please like and favorite and if you're so inclined please subscribe. I uh, plan to do more of these. Uh, leave me any questions or comments and if you do have, you want a, an, an answer relatively quickly, then by all means, please leave me, me a question on my Ronza Nut Facebook page and you can PM me there. Uh, much easier to respond to those and have a good thread going rather than just through the, the, the bottom here at, uh, on uh, YouTube. Although I do look at these and I will do my best to answer any questions that you have there. That's it from Ronza Nut. Thanks for watching.